Right, hello again. We're going to uh, take you through the grounds of Packwood House over in uh, Warwickshire. A lovely little, uh, lovely place. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at uh, Packwood House shortly. It's between Chadwick End and Badley Clinton, I think, or something like that. Um, Badly Clinton, it's like, it's lovely out here. So we had a bit of rain, hopefully uh, it's not affecting the, your viewing. I'll keep uh, the windscreen wiping finger occupied, keeping the camera clear of uh, spittage. Uh, so we're coming down over this, uh, over the canal. Yes, yeah, lovely Warwickshire. Here we go, over the canal. Beautiful. Over the railway now. This is the line between Birmingham, Snow Hill and Marleybone. That's down to Leamington, Spa and onwards. Jasper Carrot lives here around here somewhere, as far as I know. So, I'm at uh, 64.5 miles today. Interestingly, I, uh, I fueled up uh, a couple of weeks back before I did the uh, first ride out. I fueled it up, filled the tank. <laughs> did 152 uh, miles. So I filled the tank and uh, at around about 200 miles the light came on. But bear in mind, I've not been uh, we're riding it very uh, sedately up to 40 miles an hour. So, uh, yeah, very interesting that uh, we've got 200 miles before I need to refuel. Our yeah, pack was a mile down here. So another leisure drive, and it's lovely. There you go, really nice. My kind of place. Yeah, so 200 miles, eh? I'll, have, I'll take that, thank you very much. There we go, Packwood House. Those hedges again, like similar to what I saw up a, uh, near Lentwadile. Isn't that nice? There you go, that was Packwood House. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so as I say at the moment, just mooching my way home. Wonder where this goes. It's uh, just so relaxing, just taking things easy and just going with the flow, with no real plan in mind. Lapworth Church, quarter of a mile. We're going to have a look at Lapworth Church. Might be a nice church. Over the 
can I look at? Oh, smell the uh, fir trees down here. Can we need smell of vision sometimes? Not always smells that you would uh, you would want to eat, to, to uh, experience, but uh, the old barn, lovely. But uh, yeah, a bit of smell of vision. Should enjoy the uh, the nicer smells that we can find out in the uh, in the countryside. This must be, look at that, look at that, I'll tell you what we're going to do here, we're going to have a picture of Stan the Scram in front of that baby. Catch you in a bit. Beautiful church, 1914. Great war. Hello, mate, you alright? Sorry? It is, yeah. Yeah. It's great, I love it. I'm, I'm running it in at the moment, though, so it's not a lot of fun. Because I'm limited to 40 miles an hour. So, uh, I mean, to just. Oh. It's quite while you've got to run it in as well, this one. It's uh, 40 miles up to 300. Yeah. Then you get the first service. Yeah, yeah then you can go up to 50 to about 1,200 miles yeah, yeah. so it's going to be a bit of a <laughs> yeah so just finding back roads and all sorts just to try it out really but I like it, it's really good yeah. really good yeah I was kind of, I've kind of, sort of I'm set my tests shortly and uh, I've kind of considered what, what I want to get as a first time it will be perfect yeah I can tell it's got bags of Get up and go when you when you when you're ready to to, to use it properly. It'll be perfect. What did you, what, why did you go for the Scram and all the uh, Himalayan? Well, I've got three bikes. So I've got a Tracer Yamaha Tracer. I've got a Royal Enfield Interceptor, yeah. and we've we've found ourselves doing a lot more just going off the beaten track now. Oh, yeah. And Tracer will do it quite easily. Interceptor does it, but you just end up with a load of mess that you then got to clear off so i thought i need I, i'm going to get something a bit more suited for where we go now so we're, we're we're more back roads than main roads now so but yeah so it's great i love it absolutely love it it's only the second time it's been out <laughs> oh the, the value for money is brilliant with them brilliant with them yeah. It makes it accessible. Yeah, it's great. Really good value for money. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's filthy again, that. <laughs> filthy again. That's the thing, isn't it? It's what it's for. Good stuff. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> See you later. Oh, that's nice. Ah, so what's this? In memory of the men of Lapworth who fell in the Great War, 1918. Also those who fell in the War of 39 to 44. Wonderful. I like this sort of thing. And what a glorious church. Is that name Jones, Jones, Jones? Sydney Pub. Cool, right, let's go and uh, carry on mooching our way home. Those tax trenches.
on my legs. It's an awesome church. It's Mary the Virgin Lapworth. Isn't this lovely? Ain't this just blooming lovely? Should we go a bit further? this here. Wow. Fan dabby blooming dozy. Turn round and go back. That's great for turning round on it on you turn. Perfect. So that little decision to do a bit of a diversion there ended up being bloody splendid. Oops. That was a nice chat with that uh, gentleman back near uh, Blackworth Church. Very nice. It's great that uh, people see the bike, recognise the bike, or you know, see a bike they know, and, and stop and have a chat. And it happened to me at a, on Long Mind with the interceptor, <laughs> and it's just quite uh, well, strange, really. You, you know, it was sort of that was proper. Yeah, a bit out of the way place, and we walking along and stops and uh, uh, and in, engages you in conversation about the bike, which is uh, which is brilliant. It's what it's all about, really, isn't it? So I am a, I am now heading in the direction of home, uh, and I uh, I may or may not got uh, get waylaid again if something catches me eye to go and. Uh, Go mooch. But uh, yeah, we're getting the miles on slowly. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Maybe out again tomorrow. We shall see. I probably will be, I think, just to get these last few miles on. Uh, I'd like to get that done and dusted. So. If I uh, when I get home, if I'm around about the uh, 100 mark, 100 mile mark, I've really got to chuck 50 miles on. So I pop out and have a breakfast somewhere. Then we'll have uh, job done. My mum used to cycle to Earlswood Lake, so her and her sister, my auntie Muriel. This would have been in the uh, four, early 40s, from Smethwick. Bit of a jolt, really. Uh, and one of the places that they would cycle to, this is what she told me, they were very keen cyclists, her and her sister. They were the two youngest of ten children, my mum and my auntie Muriel. And uh, 
suddenly both no longer with us. Um, and they would cycle over to Earlswood Lakes. Yep. So, just a, a flying visit to uh, one of the places my mum used to come as a young woman. Actually. Very nice. thing to see I think <laughs> hopefully no cars will come past I'm going to grab a quick picture idea I've got for some videos is to mix my interest, and a slight interest, I've got in uh, genealogy with, um, with the bike. I'm sort of going and finding places where my uh, predecessors um, came from, like there's lots of uh, lots of ancestors from Wales, from me on my dad's side and, and even my mum's side there's uh, there's some Welsh so uh, well, that might be an idea is to uh, sort of go and find some of these places that's the idea that I've got so um, uh, we'll, we'll see it's a, it's a potential option I'm not getting in the right gear here, plonker. Um, yeah, so that's an idea I've got for the theme of some future videos. Bloody radio storm for some reason. And that, so, um, that's an idea. Mixing genealogy with motor vlogging and, uh, and rides out and stuff like that. So what I think I'm going to do, is because this is probably dragging on for too long now, is I'm going to wrap up the video. I hope you've enjoyed this little mooch around the uh, highways and byways of Warwickshire. Um, get all, not off my Oh, crocuses are coming through, lovely. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to, again for everyone who's taking the time to watch the channel and the videos and comment and like. Really appreciate it. Um, daffodils are already in bloom there. So, uh, yeah, that's, as I say, really do appreciate you, uh, all of you, for taking the time to show an interest and, uh, I shall see you again, and it's probably going to be very soon because I'm probably going to be out again tomorrow. Um, 
on some more videos. Uh, thanks again and I'll see you soon.